gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life, how to live your life. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, then welcome to my channel. I'm Cammy, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing ovulation testing. Now, today is the first day that I'm going to test, and I'm going to do... This whole video is going to be... Well, the next part of the video is going to be, like, the line progression part. Um, I bought some Easy at Home, these guys, to test. And they're just, like, a pack in there. I'm going to test them every day. I'm not going to record that part. I'm just going to record me doing my first one because I'm also going to be using the pre-mom app and I just kind of wanted to show you guys how that works because it is my first time using ovulation test and this app. And then for the rest part of the video, I bought a, just from like from the dollar store, a composition book to tape my test in. So then, you know, after I have ovulated and I have like what days and all of that, on here along with like the progression lines I can show you that for the rest of the video but the first part of the video is just going to be me showing you taking my first test and putting it in the little pre mom app because I'm not really sure um, you know how to do that yet so I hope that you guys enjoy this video and if you are new I hope that you will consider subscribing I am currently on a TTC journey of we're now on month three of trying to have our second baby. I am a young mama to my two and a half year old right now. Um, so yeah, I already went and used the bathroom just so I didn't have to, you know, do that on camera. But these are what it is. It's just the easy at home ovulation tests. And this is what they look like. And again, I got them on Amazon. I can link them down below for you guys. And for ovulation tests, again, I'm doing this for if you want to follow along with my journey or if you're going through the same thing and you're curious about these things like I am I constantly am watching people take tests and all that stuff on YouTube like in my spare time but for ovulation tests it says LH surge two pink lines will appear you should ovulate within the next 24 to 48, 48 hours um, intensity of lines may vary and then no LH surge only one pink line appears at the C the control line or one line appears at the T, which is the test line, but is lighter than one that appears on the C. So in order for you to actually be ovulating, it has to be like, I think, as dark or darker than the control line, the test line does. So if you get like one line, like that's not great. That's invalid, it says. And then, um, yeah, I'll show you again the little pictures. I'm not sure how long there it is. So it just says to immerse the strip into the urine, take the strip out after five seconds and lay flat on a flat surface. Wait for three minutes and read result. Do not read results after five minutes. Okay. And I wanted to start testing a little early just so I could get like the line progression for me and for you guys just to see because um, I've only been using an app for the last two months and that's supposed to be what tells you like when you're ovulating but obviously it you know it doesn't exactly know just because it's an app um so i'm just gonna go ahead and open the ovulation test i'm sorry if i sound a bit funny my throat kind of hurts this morning okay so this is what this little guy looks like just like a little test strip and it's said to dip it in there for five minutes. Put that down so that's where I can put it afterwards. So I have my little pee cup from my Prove tests. And it has a max line for whenever you stick it in. You don't want to exceed the max line. So we'll stick it in for five seconds, it said. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And now I'm just going to go ahead and sit that over there along with my urine <laughs> and um, let that do its thing. And I will start a timer for three minutes and go. Okay, so for this pre-mom app, it's in my baby like section on my phone. Or on my phone. I have the peanut app if you guys don't know what it is. Um, and you're like a stay-at-home mom or whatever, you should you know look it up. But there's a, it's called pre-mom. 
I switched from flow to this just because these tests go along with this and I just thought that was more convenient. So according to this, it says I ovulate in five days. Um, but again, I don't really know. Um, so that's why I want to, you know, double check and test and all of that. And it has like, you can, let's see. Yeah, they have like the ovulation little test thing right here. And I guess I just take a picture of it. Okay, so it now it's been three minutes now. So let's go ahead and look at my test. Okay. So honestly, it's actually pretty darn dark for supposedly supposed to be ovulating in five days. Again, this is my first time testing, so I don't want to be like wrong. Um, it's definitely not as dark as the... Can... Which one's the... Okay, let me get this out. I just want to make sure what's the control line and what's the... So I'm not messing this up. Um... Okay, so from this it says the handle goes this way. The control line is that one and the test line is... A little weird because then it's like backwards but okay <clears throat> so it says the test line is a second one it is extremely like dark for me supposedly ovulating in five days um, but it's not as dark as the control line I will try to show y'all I will put it on a flat surface just so you guys can see it like better okay so here is the testing line um, and I will go ahead so this is supposed to be the control line and this one is supposed to be the test line according to um, their little pamphlet because there is the handle so that's why I thought it was weird just because that was like upside down but um, according to this control line test line, and then the sample side but if you guys look at it it doesn't appear to be as dark, but it's definitely <laughs> a lot more dark than I was assuming that it would be um, based on, you know, my app info. But this is really good to know just because, you know, if I'm going to ovulate like tomorrow or the next day or something, um, my app would have been way off. So maybe that's why we haven't conceived yet. But yeah, so it's not as dark, but it's it's pretty dang close, you guys. Um, yeah, so it bums me out that I wasn't able to get like a like lighter line, um, but it is like pretty dark. I'll probably post in my app or somewhere to see what everyone thinks if it is as dark or whatever, just because I'm not really sure. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my book. But before I do that, I'm going to show you guys this app just because I'm not really, you know, familiar with it. So like I said, I'm supposed to ovulate in five days according to this app. So right now I'm only on cycle day 12. So my period ended. Um, my period ended. Um, on this on cycle day seven and we're now we're, we're now Jesus Christ. Okay. My period ended on cycle day seven and we're now on cycle day twelve. So according to my app, I ended my period, which I you know put in um, on cycle day seven and we're now on cycle day twelve. So according to this, yes, I would be in my fertile window right now. So I was I feel like I was completely wrong, um, but it does say I would ovulate in five days. So I didn't think it would be as dark as it was. So. I'm going to go ahead and put this in, and I think it's supposed to tell you you're presented or something. Um, so, let's see, take ovulation test, add test result, and I'm going to do just take, take photo automatically. I don't know what the difference is. Okay, so um, if you guys can see this, there's a blur. I'm really sorry because of the... So I'm gonna go ahead and line that up with this, and oops, that's my face, and we will, um, I'll show you guys after. 
Okay, so I'm back. Um, I don't know why I said I'm back, but I just took the picture. The manual one, I did it manually just because automatically it was making me all nervous because it like scans it and all of that, but I put it in and it says it's 0 0.99, so there's a high chance. Um, according to this, I'll show you. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys this test that I just took. I'm sorry, there's my pee. Um, it's the same day. It's like 20 minutes later. I took this um, one from the Dollar Tree. And if you look at the test, the line is not um, as dark at all. So as you guys can see right there, the test line is a lot lighter. Okay, so it's now later on in the day, and I just wanted to show you guys real quick. So this is the one from this morning, and this is the one that I took um, at 2 o'clock. And it's quite dark, but I'm just a little bit confused because I took that Dollar Tree test, as you guys saw, and, you know, the line was very, very faint, so I'm confused again because this one's high as well. And whenever I put this one in twice into that just to see what the thing would be, it gave me, like, different levels for each one that I put in, even though it was the same exact picture. So that makes that confusing. And then I did go ahead and take a proof test. Because um, this one is the ones that confirm ovulation. I took it the same time. I took the other test. And I did go ahead and get a negative. Two lines on these tests mean negative. So I did get a negative. So that means I don't. I haven't ovulated successfully yet. So there's that. But hey guys. So welcome to this part of the video. <laughs> the first part of the video was basically just showing you guys me basically taking my first actual ovulation test um ever um and then i showed you guys uh the prove test that i took as well if you guys don't know anything about prove i do have like a full video on me taking the test that i will link down below basically so you guys can get all of the information but it's basically just a um, progesterone test along with confirming ovulation to know like if your progesterone's high enough to successfully conceive and carry the baby. Um, and then the brand that I used for my ovulation tests was the at home brand and I did use the app to go along with that which we will get into detail about that. If you guys watched my, I'm sorry I'm trying to make sure that the camera is like focused on me and not anything else. So, if you guys watched my Q&A, you would have saw where I said that I was struggling because this was the first time that I've taken ovulation tests and again, I'm new to trying, you know, to conceive and learning all about the crazy stuff along with it. So, I was honestly just kind of overwhelmed and um, as you saw, the first test that I took was pretty dark and I didn't expect that to happen. I expected because my phone app had told me that I wasn't going to ovulate, you know, for five days, so I expected, you know, a buildup of the line, and that's, you know, not what I got, so I, I was confused, and I was overwhelmed, and a lot of you guys messaged me to watch Lex Fit Fitzgerald, and that was awesome, she makes really good content, and I'm so excited for her to start this new journey, because she announced that she was pregnant, um, so I'm basically just going to show you guys my ovulation tests on my notebook here and go through that and then I will show you guys on my app because they are a bit different obviously because the app I took the picture when they were fresh and then with this they have dried. Now before I go and show you this I am going to tell you guys I did go ahead and reach out to people because again I was overwhelmed and I was confused so I did post on like some Facebook TTC groups just to like get help because I thought I was supposed to get a buildup of, you know, from like a gradual test line to like a darker or as dark or darker than the control line would have been and that's not what I got. I got <clears throat> dark lines the first time I tested. So I was confused. <laughs> so I'll just go ahead and show you guys my little test so I wrote everything down here like what time and what um, cycle that I tested and then these were the proof tests down here um, and then you can see this side is the test line and the other one is the control line so if I bring this up for you guys 
Um, I'll do another clip for you also, but... So this was the first test that I took with you guys. And I didn't get... I thought it looked a little bit lighter, which, I mean, it did on, like, the, the app. So from talking to everybody and getting opinions on Facebook groups, everybody said, which my app also showed, that I ovulated that my peak ovulation was like the 12th between the this last 12th cycle day 12 and the 13th my cycle day 12 was at 8 23 p.m and then i tested again on cycle day 13 at 7 a.m so everybody said in between there because after that it got lighter it didn't get like super light like i thought it was going to get from watching other people's ovulation videos like they have like no test line and then I still, even on cycle day 18, had like a little line. So I was just confused and overwhelmed. Um, so these are what my tests look like on here. Okay. <clears throat> so. Okay, so along with those, I did the proof test to confirm that I actually ovulated. Um, I did test on cycle day 12, which uh, was the first day that I take, took an ovulation test, and I did get a second line. And for the proof test, if you get a second line, it means negative. I'll show you the little thing, but again, I have a whole video on it if you guys would like to write down here. Um, so I did get a second line here, and then I tested on cycle day 14, and I got a very, very faint line. So obviously I was, I did ovulate already on cycle day 12 or 13, and, um, you know, because my progesterone was going up, so the line was, you know, decreasing. And then I tested on cycle day 18, which was the last day that I took an ovulation test, and I didn't get a line. Um, I can kind of see, like, a faint line now but I could just like be imagining it. But if I would have continued to test, I didn't have any more tests, but if I would continue to test, they recommend on day, um, cycle day seven, which, or not cycle day seven, DPO seven, which I wasn't at yet. So if I would have tested on that day, it would have been even like fainter if that's possible. Um, so I obviously did ovulate and I did, my progesterone is fine. Um, so I will show you guys that, and then I also had taken, which you guys would have saw me point out, a t an ovulation test on Psycho Day 12 of this brand that I got from the Dollar Tree, which sewed up negative. So that's why I was really confused why I would have had a, you know, ovulated here, but this one was still negative um, at 8.56, but that was like in the morning. So I'll show you guys this, this guy. Can you even see that of everything? So this was all first day testing till right here. And this is where everybody said I got, not everybody, but just like two Facebook groups right here and right here between this two time, which right there. And then as you can see, like after that, it started to get like lighter when I was testing and then that was the last day that I tested. And then again with the, the proof tests. So again, let me know what you guys think just because I would like other opinions obviously because I tried to reach out to multiple people and didn't really get any help from that. So yeah, I'll go ahead and show you guys the Premom app which is what I used um, to track all of this. And if you guys don't know what the Premom is, Premom app is, you can definitely check it out. It goes along with the easy at home tests, but you can take other um, other tests as well. So let's show you guys. See, I mean, these look, you know, dark to me, but I guess it wasn't my peak because this is the one 
where it picked up as a peak in the app, which is what other people said as well between this two time. And it tells you like what um, your like peak high or peak or low or whatever over here. <clears throat> and then I tested later in the day and the line got a lot fader, like lighter. And then the next morning it was like back dark. So I was confused again. Um, Yeah, I mean, that was the last day that I tested, and the line was light. And then, again, with the PDG test, which is the, like, progesterone test, um, I went ahead and marked those in there as well. And use, like, obviously other ovulation tests or stuff, and then it also gives you a chart. You can see when I peaked, and then it, like, went down, but it did a little, like, come up so that was weird but I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching definitely leave me comments down below and yeah I hope you guys have a good day bye guys